Welcome at forexcstrading.com. Let me tell you a few things about rectangles, which are also called flags, pennants. They are called differently. It depends on the uh, size of the uh, uh, rectangle. It depends on angle of the pattern as well. So we are looking at 30 minute euro dollar chart right now. It is a little bit more squeezed than usually I'm looking at the uh, chart. It's just because I want to show you as many candles at one price chart, price action chart as possible. You see here we got a little or medium term uh, consolidation which happened to finish with breakout. Um, this uh, particular pattern a rectangle um, uh, was actually uh, connected with uh, data publication. So this volatility was because of uh, information publicated uh, at the market. I'm talking about most likely interest rates or um, I'm not sure right now but it was uh, interest rates a month ago probably. Anyway, we see here every little time after some kind of move we have those moments when the market is consolidating for a while i mean stopping by at some levels and test the level to break out again to make more significant move and we can find really a lot of those moments at the market sometimes even more than uh, triangles because every little consolidation or every medium consolidation can, can be marked really as a rectangle as you see here for example and we can look for a breakout from this pattern so we are looking for breakout from support resistance of course um, as I mentioned with triangles uh, the most important thing to use a uh, pattern uh, is the trend so patterns are not really showing us which direction the market will go I know some traders some people um, differentiate patterns to uh, those uh, which are continuation patterns and those that are reverse patterns. I like to uh, each pattern show me which direction uh, traders will go after breaking out from the uh, upside or downside. So for me it is not much important is it continuation or not even though some of the patterns like this one from uh, strong demand um, is uh, more likely to be continuing so I know about those things uh, but I like not to um, keep my opinion that the market will grow so I want to stay impartial uh, I don't want to take a particular opinion that, ma that the market will have to grow or will have to go down so patterns doesn't really show us the uh, direction of the market they might be helpful with and um, telling us what kind of levels um, uh, are we looking uh, to uh, search for another uh, breakout for example especially after those moments when we see great demand and the price stops in some comfortable specific moment like this one for example we see here in a typical uh, small consolidation of um, a rectangle the pattern and we see nice breakout of course the price can come back to this comfortable zone but we saw uh, important buyers coming into the market so we have more and more probability that the market doesn't want to sell really that's what this rectangle is telling us that market can't really push those prices lower because we have more buyers here coming in so even though the market came back for a little while it came back again but it uh, definitely shoot out uh, in the uh, upwards direction as the um, this continuation pattern showed us so um, uh, this was um, a pattern that really told us about prices continuing uh, from this demand so here we got another example of a rectangle they can be really different as I was telling um, in uh, triangle video patterns uh, that the, the uh, triangles might be uh, very different with size, different with shape, different with things happening uh, through the pattern. Uh, this one for example is not very much regular rectangle pattern so the prices moved 
uh, very randomly here but it's still telling us that after some demand coming into the market we have this consolidation at some levels so levels was from here to this point or somebody could say this point and in this comfortable zone prices could do anything it want to do so the market was really telling us if the prices will reach the point that will break out uh, to the upside or uh, will go down uh, more uh, strongly from this pattern so it wasn't really sure thing which direction the uh, price action will uh, continue for example this one this is rectangle as well different one but we can see here the price moving at some uh, particular levels test them twice and then move strongly to the upside so it gave us a clue that the market really came from selling point um, uh, we changed a trend a little bit and the market went uh, to a uh, buying phase so we have buyers coming into the market well not always rectangle will show us the change of the trend but that's what it happens here so if we are looking at this kind of behavior I mean big rectangles uh, at uh, for our chart for example this size of rectangles sometimes it's um, might be happening that the price from selling positions uh, is uh, changing the trend to an uptrend so it is also possible that a rectangle is the uh, change trend opportunity there might be also looking at this 30 minute chart a little rectangles that we might use them to for example um, uh, choose to enter the market at short position and our stop loss then is a sure thing when we place the stop loss just above this rectangle pattern so we don't have to use very wide stop loss we can use this pattern to uh, help us with knowing when the price shouldn't be after going down direction like it happened at this chart so even very small kind of behavior we can mark as a rectangle of course more probability of some sudden or aggressive movement we have from those um, patterns rectangle or triangle patterns whatever patterns we choose that are bigger in a time like this one so more candles we are seeing in a pattern more strong movement more sophisticated movement we can um, uh, expect at this chart so those universal rules are working with every different instrument, every different chart. So at 5 minute chart we could see the same situation and at 4 hour chart we can see the same move. Uh, only at 5 minute chart it will be a move of um, uh, let's say 60 points, this move. And at 30 minute chart we see here we got 2260 points. So it's a bigger move uh, because we have um, a bigger uh, amount of pips closed in each uh, candle. Right now we are looking at another example, a small continuation pattern, continuation from sellers coming in and again, little consolidation of some prices and we see prices dropping down already they don't feel comfortable at those high levels they go to the downside so it is kind of continuation pattern that from a rectangle we go to the downside comfortable and we stop for a moment the price feels comfortable that but can't really go uh, to the upside no buyers coming in to push the prices higher and again a uh, price is falling down and they fall down to meet about three times at almost the same level and to change the trend from rectangle for a while so this one really showed us the sellers were up to finished and the buyers took over the market to push the prices higher for a while so I hope it gave you a clue and idea how I will be using those rectangles in other video analysis. Triangles and rectangles are basic patterns I'm using to make my point and make real accounts trades. So it is essential to know how they look like and know some of their behavior, what we can expect from this pattern uh, coming in uh, to the particular market. Thank you very much for listening.